Hey world, welcome to the temple. No, I won't do that like that. Okay, let's do it right. Temple. Are you a woman? Are you suffering with uncomfortable breasts? I have a solution for you. Comfy breasts. So what is comfy breasts? Well, they have basically made a mattress slash pillow situation where it has indentations that you can rest your breasts into. So you don't have to lay on them anymore. They just fall into the into the dip. And if you are pregnant, there's another version which will allow you to put your stomach in there. So if you need pillows for your titties, all I'm gonna do is put on some foam gloves and just support you for the night. I don't know. I haven't had that conversation with enough girls to know how uncomfortable sleeping might be for big, um, big-breasted women. I've heard one friend say that it suffocates her if she sleeps on her back. <laughs> I'm suffocating, my breasts are too big, I can't sleep on my back. <laughs> After looking at the comfy breasts, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. It's just like a, a bed-sized pillow with a hole for your breasts. I'm sure it can't be good for your back either way. We're gonna put the link in the description. You go to the website and check it out and tell us what you think. Do you as big-breasted women, well, you're not all big-breasted women, but those of you who are, what do you think? Is this a good idea? Would you get one? And for you small-breasted women, you can sleep on a surfboard. And for you regular women, you can sleep with your boyfriend. Embo! Why do people cheat? The reason I cheat on my girlfriend is... No, I'm joking. No, I don't cheat on her. Love you. Why do men cheat? It's kind of like if your favourite food is fried chicken. You can't really walk past KFC if you smell it. So if it's around you, you're probably going to go eat it. Men, those who do cheat, let's not walk down that road of every guy cheat. Those who do cheat, mostly because they can. There is always going to be a woman out there that will allow this guy to get inside. So if you're not giving the guy what he's looking for, you're gonna go somewhere else. Why do women cheat? Women don't really know what they want half the time. They get a guy who, well, so, Sometimes it's just because they've been jaded by love. They have been hurt over and over again and they begin to become more callous about relationships and therefore they treat people as they were treated. But generally, I think it's just because women don't really know what they want and they think they want this thing, they get that thing, find they don't really want it and so they go looking for this new thing they think they want, still ain't what they want. There is a point to cheating. It's, um, it's to get what you want. Sometimes you want something, you can't get it. You go get it. No, no, I don't agree with that at all. If you are the kind of person that needs multiple things, just don't be in a relationship with someone. It's only cheating if you are basically promised to a person. If you want all these kind of things, that's what a buffet table is for. You don't tie yourself down to one meal, you go to the buffet table and you eat everything. But some people just want the prestige of being in a restaurant. I do like them restaurants. And get that red malay. And the watermelon! Just to continue with the theme, super malt. I'll take things black people like for 500 bob. I don't know. Why do you cheat? Why do you think people cheat? I've been on some very questionable dates with people in questionable situations. So, um, yeah. Why do you do it? I tell you this though, you cheat on me, I'll kill you. Embo! And this week's celeb gossip, Kendrick Lamar. Yabish. So Kendrick Lamar spits a verse on Big Sean's control track and the whole world's gone crazy. I don't understand why. There's so much hype around this whole thing and all he did was, hasn't he done this before? When that, that monster thing, doing that same thing, saying I'm better than all of you, but isn't that the nature of all rappers? They, everybody saying I'm the best and I'm the best and they're all on the same song. It's just a braggadocious thing that rappers do. I don't know why people got so hyped about it. Kendrick Lamar, the G, the genius. I think he's dope. Kendrick Lamar, sick. He did did something that I don't think has been done in like forever since gang shootouts. He named people, he said places, he took it there. Old school hip hop is back. So a rapper from Compton says he's king of New York. I think that's cool, I'm king of Zimbabwe right now. Just say, say something, say something, it is what it is. If I'm the best rapper I am. Kendrick definitely one of my favorite rappers since section 80. How can you have a verse on someone else's track and then trend worldwide first? Embo! And this week's sacrifice, Gregory Mach. Gregory Mach. Gregory. Gregory McCallion. Oh boy. This 26 year old idiot broke into a man's house with a knife that he was fixing to steal some stuff. What he didn't account for was that the old man that lived there was 72 year old Frank Corti. Frank 
used to be a boxer. You know Frankie was waiting in his armchair with his gloves on, just waiting for someone to cross that line where Come on, come on Frankie's waiting man! Come on! Oh yeah, we got one. Knocked him out, pictures all over the internet. Gregory got four years in prison. You better come up with a good story, Greg. I don't even know why I'm telling you this because you won't see this until you don't come out, but you better have a good story because you can't go in there and tell people you got weighed in by a 70 or 72 year old man. Gregory, they're gonna have memes of your face all over the internet. All I can say is team Gregory, you're done because they got internet in prison. So they're gonna find out why you got put in prison. Gregory, they're gonna have sketches about you. Oi, Gregory! <laughs> Who are ya? <laughs> Gregory, they're gonna be wearing Gregory masks for Halloween. I think when people have fights in playgrounds and all that stuff, someone gets knocked out. Instead of saying, oh, you got knocked out or whatever, it's with Team Gregory. M I tell you this though, you cheat on me, I'll kill you.